They're starting to load in for the Kentucky Derby. And we'll also keep an eye on Smarty Jones. Remember, Smarty is the number 15 horse. Remember we talked about the accident he had in the gate where he reared up and had a horrible accident, fracturing his skull. Sometimes he can be just a bit reluctant to go in, too, right now. They're having trouble uh, getting... Is that Limehouse they're having trouble getting in, Charles? Limehouse is getting a little problem to load. He pitched a fit here last year when he won a stake, uh, when he ran in the stake here a year ago, but uh, seems to be in now and no problem. Birdstone goes in and Song of the Sword. And there's the horse that many expect will show the early speed, Lionheart, from the number three post under Mike Smith. 14 is read the footnotes. Many people think he has a big chance. Two at a time, you guys. Two at a time. After winning the Fountain of Youth at Gulfstream, he bounced, as they say, in horse circles, which means that it took so much out of him he didn't have much less for the Derby, but many think he'll come back from that seven-week layoff. Smarty went in without a problem. You saw Smarty in the blue, number 15, go in without a problem here. Number 16, Castledale, winner of the Santa Anita Derby. 17 is Pollard's vision, blind in the right eye. They try to keep him on the outside so that he can see all the horses inside him, and you'll see him cock his head a little bit to get full vision from his good left eye. Number eight, Master David goes in. There's the 18, Tappet, one of the betting choices. And for the call of the 130th Kentucky Derby on a sloppy track, let's go upstairs and join Tom Durkin for the call. Tom? Pro Prado moving into post position. Uh, number 17 in this field of 18. And the final horse to move into line on the far outside will be Quinton's Gold Rush. Quinton's Gold Rush who could be looking for that early lead today. Quinton's Gold Rush is uh, just the last one behind the gate. And he's giving the assistant starter a little problem here. Quinton's Gold Rush and jockey no Corey Nakatani. The horses to look for leaving the starting gate will be Quinton's Gold Rush, number 10. Smarty Jones, number 15, who's got some speed. And Lionheart, number 3. Ready for the start. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. Imperialism got a little bump from the cliff's edge at the start. Read the footnotes, comes away in good order, and there's Lionheart flashing his early speed today. Minister Eric is up close to the pace. Limehouse down toward the inside has been taken back. Quinton's gold rush in the far outside. Bias for the first time. Lionheart leads the way in a host of pursuers. Minister Eric is there. Read the footnotes is third. Smarty Jones very eager. He's fourth. Pollard's vision is there on the outside. And Quinton's gold rush stacks six wide as they move into the clubhouse turn. By the back, Master David is running along in seventh position. Borrego is eighth on the outside. Pro Prado moves up into ninth. Birdstone is 10th and in between horses. Limehouse is saving ground 11th. Castledale in the clear. He's now running in 12th. French Lake is now 13th. Song of the Sword is 14th. Tappet is running together 15th and 16th with the Cliff's Edge. And Imperialism is 17th. He has but one horse beaten, and that is action this day. The opening half mile, 46 and 3 fifth seconds. And Lionheart throws down the gauntlet and opens up by three. Testing fractions for him, five furlongs to go. Smarty Jones is a stalking second as they approach the far turn. Pollard's vision in the clear, and he's right there, third. Minister Eric down on the inside, moving from fourth. Read the footnotes, is handling the track well. He's fifth between horses with a half mile to run. They run three quarters in one, 11 and four. Borrego's beginning to pick it up on the outside. Pollard's vision threads his way through in between horses. And there goes Tappet. Tappet is circling horses on the far outside and the cliff's edge is following him and imperialism is pisking his way through down toward the inside, not to the outside and Master David follows him they're 12 lengths from the lead as Lionheart turns for home and undefeated Smarty Jones comes wide off the turn and these two hook up at the top of the stretch Lionheart is all heart Smarty Jones is all out and those two deadlocked at the 8th pole and Smarty Jones is rose to the lead by journeyman jockey Stuart Elliott and they have taken the lead away from Lionheart farther back it's Limehouse and Imperialism and here is the first undefeated winner of the Kentucky Derby since Seattle slew in 1977 Smarty Jones has done it Limehouse was second Imperialism finished third and Limehouse was fourth what a moment this must be for Stuart Elliott, a 39-year-old journeyman. He has just won the race of a lifetime. And put it in the bank in a big way. A $5 million bonus to boot. Smarty Jones, 7 for 7.